Hello everyone, Amadorn here. Welcome back to the Centercraft server. I hope everything is going well for you today. I'm doing fine. Today we are going to take a tour of the progress I've made on the temple and see about working on clearing some more land. Uh, before we do that, however, I've picked up a couple of contracting clients. I've met with both of them to discuss ideas that, I've, that I'll be working on in a couple of episodes from now. So let me show you how the meetings went, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Hello, hello. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. Okay, I've got a bit of a building thing I've um, not really happy with, and I'd rather get it redone kind of in a way. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's it's a little complicated in some ways, so I'd rather just ask for um, a pricing um, from you directly, just so that it's less confusing. Okay. Yes, that's fine. Okay. All right. Oh, snap. This is fancy. Yeah, well, welcome to the office. <laughs> Wait a second. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta check if there's anything behind this painting now. Okay. Well, right. <laughs> no, nothing behind the paintings. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Oops. All right. Uh. Let's see. Um, okay, yeah, it, it kind of involves decorating a little bit, um, it basically is, I'd say. Alright, so what is it? Alright, um, I guess I'll just lead you the way. Okay. It's right here in the shopping district. Okay. So this is it, the control tower. Now, I spent like not very long on this thing on purpose. I didn't actually try to make it look good or anything. Okay. Just because of the fact that it's mostly redstone. But I mean, the outside does not look very good in my opinion. So I think something should be done to make it look a little better in my opinion. Uh, what have you got in mind? You want it to look older? You want it to look newer? Do you want to do away with the sto well, stone and use concrete? Or hmm, yeah, it's just there's something about it that doesn't really. I don't. I just don't like it very much. Just something okay. to make it look less basic. Um, it probably should look a little bit more like the track itself. It should tie in probably a little bit better. Um, yeah, probably. Which means using some white and red concrete and... I mean, overall, I like the structure of it. Oh, okay. Um, this is the inside. I don't, I don't think really there's much going to be done much in the inside because it's mostly redstone in the inside, so this really doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, so mainly the outside, but... Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm providing materials. Uh, sorry, say that again. Uh, do you want me to provide the materials, or...? How much... Okay, what's the price with slash without materials? What's the difference? Um, so if I remember correctly in the book, I think I put uh, 20 diamonds to build if you provide the materials. And um, I want to say it was either 30 or 40 f if I do it. Okay. I'd have to double check the book. But I, I think that's well within my standard price for the book, so... Okay. So it'd be like 30 to 40 then if you provide the materials? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're raining diamonds down. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Let's see. Yeah, I can definitely afford that. I think I'll go with that then. Okay. Um, yeah, it really doesn't matter to me what it looks like as long as it looks better than it is and as long as the redstone still fits. Okay. Um, all right, so how does this work? Um, you pay me once I finish building it. That way you're satisfied with what oh, okay. I build, build and uh, you dropped a couple over here. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So, I'll, so I'll, um, I'll get it built, and then when I'm done, um, you'll take a look at it, and, and, uh, and then you'll pay me. All right. Sounds like a plan. And uh, I think we can definitely do that. Okay, good. <laughs> Um, is there going to be anything built over here, like in between the stands and the tower? Um, I don't think we've planned anything yet. Okay. All right, well, I'll work on some ideas and... Um, uh, and and uh, I don't know. I might get to it this weekend, but it might be the weekend after. Okay, that's fine with me. Okay, that'll work. Sounds good. Hello, howdy. So, what can I help you with? You got a spider you know? spider <clears throat> crawling up your building. Is there really on the outside? I don't have a bow. Oh, that was invisible to me. I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pretty much I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's about it. That's, that's as far as I got. I, well, I don't know. Well, what would you like to use each area for? Or do you know? I think this area can just be like empty and just be like the focal point, the basement. Like the staircase. Okay. So like, I nothing really is going to be on this floor, but the floor above it, like I'm not too sure. There's a, I, I mean, you can look around and see what can be done, but um, I want an like my enchantment table somewhere. I think this level would be pretty good because it's got a lot of room. Yeah, we could can fit the. Uh, we could turn stuff. this room into a library and put your enchanting area in up here. Okay. Um, can some of these posts be moved, or take, or at least, I mean, obviously you can't take them from the outside, but right, can yeah, can that okay? Like cutting them out, like we could put an enchanting table in here, and then some stuff, or put the enchanting table in like the middle. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, that would be good. Cause, uh, yeah, you can go up three blocks without it making any too drastic difference too much of a drastic difference okay okay and that's okay what other stuff do i have um i'm actually not too sure i need a, a storage area but i don't know how i want to do that because i don't know if i want to put that in the basement or well, it looked like you've got a you've got kind of a sheep system downstairs. I've actually been over to your base before, so it looked like mm -hmm. you had a sheep stuff stuff downstairs, and it looks like you're kind of setting up some some other things down there. It probably would be better to have your storage downstairs. Now we could yeah. put we could put some like storage for looks in this area. You know, I'll put we could put some chests and stuff in here, and you not really use them; they're just here for looks. In what area? Sorry, I was in the right. Oh, I'm on this, <clears throat> the floor above where you went the library. Oh, okay. Or we could turn this into a bedroom. Yeah, yeah. we can maybe put some like chests here, and yep. then like in these little slots. Yep. And I have a bed in the slot. Wait, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, that can't be broken. Yeah, I'll stay away from that, and then. Maybe the top. You, it looks like you've got um, this area here we can't really do much with. We can kind of 
maybe put some paintings or something. But then you've got like a uh, an Elytra launching pad up here. Yeah. This is kind of cool. Yeah, uh, I actually had Zaphod uh, come and finish this roof for me because I just can't make peak roof. Right. So actually, I had him do it, and he asked me if I just wanted to keep it open or closed, and I thought it would be smartest to keep it open so I could just jump off whenever. Yep. Uh, I wish my elytras would work for me. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I should actually have it. Okay. I can probably do the interior here by the end of next week. Okay. All right. Actually, could you come back downstairs? Because there's just like these little sure. uh, platforms. That yeah. Are, it's just like a little, whatever, four by six, four by five. Yep. I don't know. Maybe you could do like a little statue on each side. Okay. As like a cool little, I don't know, make it look, I, I don't know, <laughs> just a cool idea. It'd okay. Be cool to have something pop up right here. All right. Yeah, Not I, sure how it would be made, but. <laughs> I think I can put together a statue. Okay, cool. Awesome. Sounds good. Now, I, I did, I just put in the book, like whatever the, the book you had for the designing stuff yep that i'd pay whatever so i'm not too sure <laughs> oh the, what this all would i think i i think this will just be my base interior fee i think it's 20 diamonds how much is that i think that's 20 so oh, 20 uh, diamonds? okay yeah, so so once i get it done and you're uh -huh. sat satisfied with everything that's when you pay okay do you have like an upfront thing like 10 now 10 later or is it just 20 at the end 20 at the end oh, okay Cool. So sounds good. All right. Sick. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, no problem. Lots of possibilities for both builds. I'm really looking forward to getting into them. Uh, I need to gather some resources for them first, uh, and once that's done, we can get busy with those. For today, however, we are back at home. Uh, let's start by looking around and showing you what I've accomplished so far. So I've cleared out a lot of the land that's inside the temple. Uh, there's about a third of the space left to do, uh, but that's not too bad, really. Uh, there's some trees over there and some hills over here, and, and that's about it. And then this whole thing will be flat and ready to go. Um, it's a good start, I think. Uh, over here, I've uh, set up the markers for the pillars that are going to be from... Uh, from this set of stairs to that set of stairs over there. I've got them all laid out. I haven't actually built the pillars yet. Um, but having them marked down is a, is a good a good place there. Um, over here, I have started working on the wall itself. Now, I did double check some of my math. And, um, yeah, for some reason, they don't match at the corners. I, I'm not really sure why. Um It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I, I'm sure that there's actually a uh, you know a mathematical reason for this, uh, but I don't know what it is. Uh, if you've got some ideas and suggestions, I, I would definitely be interested in hearing them. I, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the corners yet. Uh, I am going to go ahead and finish building the walls themselves using the pattern that I've got set up here. Although I I may play around with it. I, I have a feeling that the patterns on these walls are going to change constantly. Um, or at least from level to level until I find something that I really like and stick with it. And I'm not even sure I'll stick with it by then. Um, over here, the, the, the red brick concrete powder, I actually kind of like the way that looks as opposed to the, the red concrete itself. It kind of gives it a, a rougher look. How did the hell did he get over the wall? That was weird. Um, also, I have started to kind of lay out where things are going to go. So this area here, all the way from this stair down to that wall, is going to be my automated storage system. Now, I know what you're saying. I built this one over here, and it's going to have to move. Yeah. 
I'm not really looking forward to that. But uh, I've built this a couple of times now in this spot. So I've got a better understanding of how it all works. And I think I can do a quicker job of it over there. Uh, we'll actually be working on that in this episode, getting it kind of getting it started at least. Uh, we'll dig out the hole here all the way, and maybe place the 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 chests, um, and then we'll we'll start emptying these out and shutting that down. Um, also, uh, I am going to have a mass storage system in this area over here. Now this is going to be linked by a water uh, pipe all the way to the cactus and kelp farm that's over there. And um, I think it'll also be tied into my storage system over here. But the idea is that bulk items like the kelp and the cactus and stuff coming off farms, uh, stone, cobblestone, things that I'm going to have like multiple chests of, I'll have that storage right in this area and it'll be set up so that I can put a, a shulker box or a chest in one spot and then the items will shoot up using water to filter into the system to be sorted um, and then the same way with the stuff coming off of the kelp and cactus and I probably will also do the same thing with the with the AFK fish farm I'll have it filter into the same stream and then it can all be sorted over here. Um, also, uh, right about in this area, after all of this is moved, I'm going to set up and I'm going to move the super smelter that I have in the old temple over here to the new one. Uh, that way I can uh, have it connected to everything and have it running along with... Uh, you know, along with the sorting systems. Now, I think we're close enough at, here that if I were to F A AFK in this area, that the kelp and the cactus farms may still be running. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll have to double check that at some point. Um, I do have ideas for other farms in, in, in these areas, and I kind of want everything to flow into these sorting systems. So I'm probably going to end up with a water stream that connects up to the main system here, you know, and then have it filter in. Um, at some point, we'll have to cross over from the bulk storage um, over into the automated storage. So that system works. Or we may end up with two independent systems. Um, and we'll have an overflow down here um, for that stuff. So there's a lot of work to get done, so uh, let's get started. And uh, like I said, I'm going to start over here with this stuff, and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, we are back, and I've got quite a bit done that I want to show you here. Um, one of the first things I did is I dug out the trench where all the redstone is going to go for the storage system. Um, it starts right here at the stairs, and it goes all the way over to the wall over there. Now, this is going to end up being filled up with pretty much an identical copy of the, all of this stuff. Um, which is from uh, a Tango Tech video. It, it's an automatic storage system and sorting system, and it works really great. Good. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. It does cause a little bit of lag um, if I put a bunch in it at any one time, uh, but overall it's not too bad. Uh, the other thing I got done is I went in and I put all the chests. Um, in here for the storage system as where it's going to be going all the way down here so you can see all of these chests this is my storage system I, I, I believe that that's gonna be enough for what I need and then on this side will actually be more chests because this is where a bulk storage is gonna be so I don't think I should ever really run out of storage I think I'm gonna have plenty um, 
as you can see, I'm kind of doubling up on some of these, like the wood over there in the old system. I only had one chest for logs and I had one chest for crafted stuff. Um, I'm doubling up on that and I'm going to double up on the oak. Um, I don't think I'm going to double up on the other logs because I'm not really, whoops, not really using them um, all that much. So I don't think there is necessary. Um, I did kind of make a better looking uh, area here. This is the input uh, chest. So everything that's going to be sorted, I'll put into this chest. And then I'll end up going into the system and running through all the redstone. These chests here are basically storage for things like armor and weapons and tools. You know, stuff that I want to have fairly handy that, you know, and like this... This will end up going into these. Um, so I'll have my gear right here. So the other thing I did was I dug the trench for where the water uh, transport system is going to be. Which is all the way down here that I just fell through. So this tunnel goes all the way back to the kelp farm. Um, also, I got kind of lucky here because... I'm going to want to put my AFK fishing farm into this eventually as well. And it just so happens that up here, I think, um, yeah, right about in here, this is my AFK fishing farm. That storage up there, this is actually what what the trash can was. Um, there was a cactus underneath of this. Um, so anything I didn't want to keep would come down here to this. Well, I'll get rid of this cactus and just have everything filter into the water stream heading over to the base. Um, over here is the output for the cactus farm and the kelp farm. Uh, everything that comes in from those flows into this, hits these hoppers, and it comes over here. Well, I'm going to tear this all out and have that water stream just take them all the way over to the new base. We might be able to see something come through over here. Yep. There's some kelp going down into the hoppers. And into these chests. So all of this stuff here will eventually go away and get moved over to the new area. Um, last but not least, this will all move as well. This super smelter that I've got sitting here. It's going to get moved over to the new farm. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with this. Uh, it doesn't really do, you know, it doesn't really work the way I wanted it to. Um, being since they're cave spiders. But uh, we may, I don't know. Oh, looks like Fort was blown up by a creeper. But it'll be nice to have this all moved, and then we'll kind of redo this a little bit so that we're not uh, wasting a bunch of materials. Um, I think it'll work a whole lot better once we get get things uh, rearranged and get everything closer to us as well. Plus, I'm going to have this automatically filter back into the storage system. Uh, so we'll be able to take stuff and, and move it in and then move it out without a whole lot of hassle. So that's kind of where we are. Um, everything's moving along pretty good. Uh, lots of work done today. Lots of work still to do. Um, overall, though, I'm pretty happy with the progress. I think uh, everything's uh, coming out pretty good. And once we get this all done, this base will kind of take care of itself, hopefully, with a lot of the stuff going on. Um, I do have some villagers over here. I am going to set up a little bit of a little bit of a villager breeder myself. Um, I know there is a, a villager trading hall over at Intense Place, um, and I have a pass to that, so I'm not going to do too much with villagers. But I would like to have some kind of around in the area surrounding the temple and in the temple itself you know just to kind of give it some population 
so I do want to have some villagers breeding up. Uh, I think I'm going to have to move these because my super smelters basically can go right where that where my villager block it is. Um, but so we'll we'll get that all worked out. Uh, everything is looking pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy. Uh, this is this is gonna have to move here pretty soon too, because um, it's kind of in the way. But uh, so that's kind of all the time we have for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, you guys have a good one. Goodbye.